Poland's acquisition of the F-A-50 light combat aircraft from South Korea's Korea Aerospace Industries marks a pivotal step in its ambitious military modernization program, driven by the need to replace aging Soviet-era aircraft and bolster NATO's eastern flank. As of May 2025, the Polish Air Force has integrated 12 F-A-50GF aircraft, with plans for an additional 36 advanced F-A-50PL variants by 2028. This acquisition, part of a broader $3 billion deal signed in 2022, reflects Poland's strategic pivot toward Western and South Korean defense systems, spurred by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the urgent need to backfill equipment donated to Kyiv. While the F-A-50 fleet enhances Poland's air capabilities and NATO interoperability, challenges such as delivery delays, armament limitations, and logistical complexities highlight the complexities of this transition. The first phase of Poland's F-A-50 program saw the rapid delivery of 12 F-A-50GF Block 10 aircraft, completed by December 2023, ahead of the original schedule. Valued at $705 million, this contract provided Poland with a cost-effective platform to replace its aging Su-22 and MiG-29 fleets. Stationed at Minsk Mazowiecki Air Base, these aircraft primarily serve as an operational conversion unit, training pilots for Western systems while offering limited combat capabilities, such as close air support and air policing. Equipped with AGM-65 Maverick missiles, Mark-82 bombs, JDAM precision-guided munitions, and 20mm cannon ammunition compatible with Poland's F-16 fleet, the F-A-50GFs provide immediate operational utility. However, their lack of modern air-to-air -air missiles, such as the AM-9X Sidewinder or AM-120 AMRAM, has drawn criticism from Polish officials, including Deputy Defense Minister Cezary Tomczyk, who noted the initial contract's limited weaponry. Efforts are underway to address this, with studies exploring AMRAM integration, though this could take three to four years due to technical and U.S. export approval processes. The second phase of the program involves the delivery of 36 F-A-50PL Block 20 aircraft valued at $2.3 billion, designed to significantly enhance Poland's air combat capabilities. These advanced variants will feature Raytheon's Phantom Strike Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, air-to-air -air refueling capabilities, and Lockheed Martin's Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod, enabling precision strikes and interoperability with Poland's F-16s and forthcoming F-35s. The F-A-50PLs will support a wide range of missions, including air combat, CAS, reconnaissance, and air interdiction with planned integration of beyond visual range missiles like the AMRAM and potentially South Korean GPS-guided bombs. However, delivery challenges have emerged, with reports indicating a potential 1.5-year delay, pushing the start of deliveries from November 2025 to mid-2027. This delay stems from difficulties in securing US-made components, particularly the ASA radar. KAI is negotiating with Poland's Ministry of Defense to amend the contract, proposing an accelerated delivery rate of three to four aircraft per month to meet the 2028 deadline. In May 2025, Deputy Defense Minister Pao Beda met with South Korean officials to discuss these issues and explore additional weapon systems for the FA-50PL, underscoring Poland's commitment to resolving these challenges. Poland's F-A-50 program is supported by robust training and infrastructure initiatives. In July 2023, Polish pilots completed a 23-week training program in South Korea utilizing computer-based training and TA-50 trainer flights. KAI established a 24-7 support office at Minsk Mazowiecki Air Base to ensure maintenance and operational readiness with plans for a full maintenance, repair, and overhaul center by 2026 in collaboration with the Polish Armaments Group. This MRO center could position Poland as a regional hub for FA-50 operations, potentially attracting other NATO countries to adopt the platform. KI is reportedly in talks to sell 100 to 200 FA-50s to neighboring states, which could leverage Poland's infrastructure for training and maintenance.
The F-A-50s are designed to integrate seamlessly with Poland's mixed fighter force, including three F-16 squadrons and two planned F-35 squadrons, facilitating a smooth transition for pilots to fifth-generation jets. Despite these advancements, the F-A-50 program faces scrutiny. The introduction of a new aircraft type alongside F-16s and F-35s increases logistical complexity, raising concerns about maintenance costs and infrastructure demands. Critics argue that Poland's reliance on foreign suppliers, 70% of its defense spending is on imports, limits the growth of its domestic industry, despite the government's Polonization efforts through technology transfers with KAI and PGZ. The new government under Donald Tusk, in power since December 2023, is reviewing contracts signed by the previous Law and Justice Administration to ensure efficiency and maximize local production. Additionally, Poland's high defense spending, at 4.5% of GDP in 2024, has sparked debates about economic sustainability, particularly given the country's $700 billion economy and reliance on external financing, such as a $2 billion U.S. foreign military financing loan. Strategically, the F-A-50 fleet strengthens Poland's role as a NATO frontline state, particularly in response to regional threats from Russia. The aircraft's acquisition was accelerated by Poland's donation of Soviet-era equipment, including MiG-29 spares, to Ukraine in 2022, necessitating rapid modernization. The choice of F-A-50s over additional F-16s was driven by KI's ability to deliver quickly, unlike Lockheed Martin, which prioritized F-35 production. Social media discussions on platforms like X reflect mixed sentiments. Some praise the F-A-50s as a cost-effective solution for a modern Air Force, while others highlight delays and armament limitations as setbacks. Nevertheless, the F-A-50s position Poland as a potential leader in European light combat aircraft operations, with the possibility of establishing an international training hub. In conclusion, Poland's F-A-50 fleet is a cornerstone of its Air Force modernization, with all 12 F-A-50 GFs delivered and operational by December 2023, and 36 F-A-50 PLs expected by 2028, despite potential delays. The program enhances Poland's NATO interoperability and regional defense capabilities, but challenges like armament integration, delivery schedules, and logistical complexity remain. By leveraging South Korean technology, U.S. components, and domestic industry partnerships, Poland is steadily transforming its air force to meet 21st century threats, reinforcing its strategic importance in Eastern Europe.